Shot. All right, so listen, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm here a little early this morning. Uh, feel free to go ahead and share it out. Throw some likes, loves up, all that good shit while you're while you're getting all your stuff ready to go. Um, yeah. Good morning, Gina. Good morning, Adana. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Kenna. Good morning, everybody. Go ahead and throw them share buttons out there or whatever they are. The, the smash that thing my bobber thing yeah that thing do that do that do that make it happen number one make it so all right so i am really loud in my own ears here i've got to turn this down and turn this up right here so let's get that up there so we can so you can hear me there we go is that better i hope that's better all right so now you can hear me I'll turn the music up a little bit right there there we go look, there we go wow, wow look at that look at that look at that we made it happen we made it happen kevin so we are broadcasting a little early this morning but that's okay i just want to come in and say hello and get the day started um and uh let's do some stuff today i gotta pull up some uh my quotes i didn't pull up my quotes yet dadgummit so let's pull up some quotes because I didn't do it yet I didn't I didn't done it oh there we go popped my neck that felt great okay so who all's in here what's going on five of you what's up five what's up the five are y'all ready to take over the world if I win the lottery do I share with you guys do I do I hmm that's the question i say that's the question so uh yeah if you talk five of you look if all if everybody that's all my fans if i have three three thousand three hundred plus fans and if every one of them talked into five people into buying a shirt then i can make sure that i i could retire damn it from my job and i could do this full time <laughs> damn it okay so good morning good morning good morning good morning joyster good morning how are you I had a couple videos on TikTok go absolutely crazy. I got over a thousand views in like just a matter of a few hours on uh, per video, like two videos last night. That was pretty neat. Um, that was exciting. Um, I know as I keep putting content out, I will keep getting more views. That's how that works. And, uh, and more shares and everything else. And our, our little community will grow and we'll be able to get the message out to more people and have more fun and make more friends and then we can have a really big party at the end of the year <clears throat> uh yes you can retire from disability um but the outcome is death and you don't want to do that so i would say keep on rocking it and doing the best you can <laughs> good morning wyland but dad government kenny that's a it's it's a good it was a good effort it was a good try uh but let's keep you around for a couple more days you know what i mean just just a couple more days you know, we'll reevaluate after two days. Say that. All right. So let me see here. Have we got music? Freaking music playing? There is. Okay, good. Oh, uh, be selective in your battles. Sometimes peace is better than being right. Oh, my goodness gracious. So I've been going through some stuff the last few days. Um, Everybody knows what happened to me. And I've had 
just some stuff going on and i've been working my butt off trying to make everything work and um we got some really good news of course with the shirts coming out the date and all that good stuff and then i got booked for a couple of appearances so that was nice we got the movie next year um but abadon apollyon llc my actual company uh just got a new credit line which is was really awesome it was like it was a lot and it was really good so i'm like really happy with that so we've been doing um we've been doing really well we've got, so all the crap that i've been going through the last few days last week or so is like pale in comparison to how good things are if you just trust in the universe the universe does great things for you and i am just blessed that i can come on here at 6 30 7 o'clock in the morning and i have you amazing people in here to talk to and um you know do the whole morning thing with so i, I just i just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you for being here for sharing the feeds for talking with me knocking up the comments you know you you guys really are awesome and i really appreciate each and every one of you Uh oh. Biggs has an update. I have to see what it is. It just popped up on my thing. Uh, good news. I just want to share what that was already to be asked. Oh, yes. So, when Biggs comes in this morning, um, if he comes in this morning, when he comes in, uh, we have to, I'll give him a congratulations because he is the new um, president of the Clown Cartel Tennessee. Um,. And that that is really awesome. I'm very proud of him. So when he comes in, we're gonna give him a big a big what's a big big old hoorah and a hell yeah. So, but yeah, um, I saw that yesterday. He just posted something again. So, I think it's amazingly. Well, thank you, Debbie, uh, and thank you, Kenneth. I really appreciate that because, you know, it's it, the truth is we're all in this together. Um, this earth that we live on, this world that we live in is been just, it's, it's been shit for years and uh, for a lot of different people, but thankfully we have the technology now that we can reach out and help each other, lift each other up and talk with each other and do things for each other, which, you know, is amazing. Yeah. As soon as Biggs comes in, if, if he comes in this morning, I hope he does. He normally does. Um, if he comes in, we got to give him a big hoorah. I'm gonna sneeze. It's coming. <laughs> ah, I knew it was coming. Um, anyway, whose birthday? Wait, is Joyster's birthday today? Joyster's birthday is today. Oh, wow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey and you smell like one, two. Now, happy birthday, uh, Joyster. Absolutely happy birthday. Why, right, thank you, Debbie. I needed that. I need all the blessing I can get. I sneeze pretty hard. I normally sneeze in like like over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. I never I never really sneeze once. That was really weird. Anyway. Uh I'm just gonna send Biggs a message. I'm live. Come in so I can say something to ya. Okay. <clears throat> your youngest turned 11 today? That is awesome. Well, tell your youngest that Abaddon Apollyon says happy birthday. That is amazing and awesome. But yeah, so the way the world has been going lately, and well, you know, not lately, it's been going this way since before Jesus walked the earth. It's been just crap in so many different places and so many different ways. But, you know, it used to be that you would have to get on a horse and ride for four or five days just to see somebody. You know what I mean? Like, it was, it was crazy back in the day. But we have the, uh, we have the technology now that we can reach out to anyone at any time by a phone, by a computer, by a tablet, by a damn everything. There's, there's everything is like you can use anything, anything. The damn watches now. I can make a phone call on my watch, um, a video call on my watch. Some Maxwell Smart shit, some James Bond stuff. Point is, is don't forget to reach out to the people that you care for. Don't wait until a person is dead to say that you loved and respected it and, and you're gonna miss them. 
You know what I mean? And that's like one of the biggest things that I see is, you know, uh, I went to a funeral just a few days ago and, um, you know, you see all these people that are like, oh, he was the greatest. I'm going to miss him. Blah, dude. You hadn't seen him in like five years to hell. Shut up. You know what I mean? Y'all were friends 10 years ago. Like if you, if you care about somebody, check on them, talk to them, call them, call them once a week. If you know, if not every day, call them once a week, call them once a month and be like, Hey, I'm just thinking about you. You're doing all right. You know what I mean? It's always good to check up on people. Your words have so much power. Um, you know, saying that you're, you know, let me just back up. I, I watched a video that somebody had posted. I don't remember who it was, but it was about words have power. And the guy was talking about his son. And one of the stories in there was the son was always looking for pride from his father. And uh, because he didn't get that pride, he went down a dark road where if the father would have just been proud of him just one time, um, he would have probably had a totally different path. And the, the same goes true with our friends and our people around us. If you, uh, if you pick on people in a, in a negative way all the time, it's going to neg negatively affect them. But if you give words of encouragement, lift them up, then you might just be saving a life. You might be just really working somebody to, to, to a better place. Um, it's crazy to, to think that, like, for example, I, I see it a lot in, in the female community where people are like, um, you know, oh, don't body shame. Oh, don't do this. Don't do that. You got to love, raise up sisters, you know, all this good stuff. But then I've noticed that girls are the first to body shame and be assholes to other females. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, not every female, not all females, but it's, it's bad. And, you know, I've seen a lot with uh, my timeline. I wrote down my timeline and I'll see, uh, you know, <laughs> I'll see girls that are like, men ain't shit, men ain't shit, men ain't shit. And then they, they're, you know, I'm single, this guy's bastard, blah, 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 blah. And then they're like, another relationship. I'm so happy. He's the best guy in the world. And then it's men ain't shit, men ain't shit, men ain't shit. Girl, stop fishing from the same cesspool, okay? Go to a lake. Go to a pond. Go to the ocean. Quit fishing out your toilet. If you, if you have, if you, if you, if, if you're dating crappy people, crappy things are going to happen to you. And oh, Jason just came in the room, so we've got to do this. I gotta get it, I gotta get all set up here, Jason. I wasn't expecting you yet, so give me one second. Jason's in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Clown Cartel president of Tennessee's in the house. Congratulations, Biggs. Congratulations, sir. You are amazing. Congratulations on everything you have done. Everybody give him a round of applause and give him a huge, 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 huge bunch of love. Give it to him, ladies and gentlemen. As a matter of fact, smash the hearts, not for me, but for Biggs. Congratulations on being the new president of the Clown Cartel in your area. That is an amazing accomplishment, and I'm very proud of you. Super, super stoked, man. That is awesome. I was so happy to hear the news and see that. It uh, it made my heart. It, it literally filled my heart with love, just like all these hearts that are flying up right now in your honor for your accomplishment of becoming the president of your area. That is so freaking awesome, dude. Uh, you have no idea how many people love you, but every single person I talk to, and I talk to a lot of people every single day. We may not have that many people in these rooms, but I, I'm on the messenger and I'm in the emails all day long. And I'm telling you, every time I mention your name, it's nothing but love. Everybody loves you, Biggs. And it's well-deserved. You're an awesome guy. You're an awesome entertainer. You're humble. You're very intelligent. And you're such, you have such a beautiful heart. You thought I was going to say something else, but <laughs> you have a beautiful heart. And, um, dude, we love you. We love you more than you could ever fucking know. Congratulations. Now, let's go back to our regular programming. What was our regular programming? I forgot. I got so excited that Biggs came in. Oh, uh, yeah. So your words have power, just so much power. I mean, 
for example, we we'll use Biggs. Biggs just made uh, president of the clown cartel, and, and and that is so awesome. He's he's president for his area and all that good stuff. But now imagine if somebody he looked up to, or someone he respected, was like, eh, whatever. You know what I mean? It it might not show that it hurts. He may not show that it hurts, but it would hurt. You know what I'm saying? Words have power. So that in mind, when you stand in front of the mirror in the morning and you talk to yourself and you look at your brushing your teeth or whatever, and even if you're not physically talking, you're just in your in your brain going, oh my God, I, I hate my nose. Oh my God, I hate this. Oh my God, I hate that about me. I hate, hate my belly. I hate this. I hate that. You are negatively impacting yourself. So don't do it. Don't body shame yourself. Now, let me follow up with what I'm saying with this. When I say don't body shame yourself, okay? You are not ugly. You're just not your type. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not ugly to someone. You're ugly to you, and that's okay because you're not your type. You wouldn't date you. You follow what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I might date you. I don't know. You might be your type, but... For me, I know I'm not my type. I don't I don't like dudes, number one. I don't like certain things about me, but that's okay because I wouldn't date me. So, words can cut like a two-edged sword. Words can cut, dude, words can be like a freaking nuclear warfare. One person can say one thing and it's like a nuclear bomb going off where somebody else could say the same thing and it would be like a paper cut. Um... It's not just the words being said, but it's the person saying them. It's the emotion behind it. It's the, it's everything all together wrapped into one. Good morning, everybody. It popped in. Um, it's very, very important and very crucial that that if you expect other people to treat you with respect and talk to you kindly and talk to you in a good way, that you have to start with yourself. If you want people to treat you with respect, you have to respect yourself. If you want people to look at you like you were something then you have to be something um i uh, it it amazes me like when i go out i don't i don't ever go out and just like sweatpants or da 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 da. if i'm going out the door i'm putting on you know a pair of blue jeans a t-shirt or blue jeans a button-up shirt like i'm gonna try to look decent if i go out and i don't do that for anybody other than myself if i'm gonna go out especially if i'm gonna go out out if i'm going to to a restaurant or something like that then i might wear a suit why? Because I do that for myself because it makes me feel good about who I am. It's not for anybody else. We have to treat ourselves like we are royalty because we are royalty to us. You are the king of your life. You are the queen of your life and you have to act that way. But Abaddon, I'm just going to Walls Marks. I'm just going down to the walls, Marts. I can wear my hair in a bun and wear sweatpants to the walls, Marts. Well, if that's what you want to do, then do it. But don't come at me saying you have self-esteem issues when you walk outside looking like a dumpster fire. (laughs) No, I'm just saying, man. I'm I'm just picking. That's me picking right there. But I'm just saying. If you're going to expect people to respect you, then you have to respect yourself. And that starts with self-respect, with how you dress, how you act, how you talk, so on and so forth. Okay, hey, Courtney. Uh, Tell her I said hello. Uh, Raw I'm a duck. I didn't say raw I'm a duck yet today. Really? Really? I didn't? Well, dadgummit. Well, dadgummit. Roar on the duck. <laughs> okay. Now that you got that out of your system. Uh, the biggest source of motivation are your own thoughts. So think big and motivate yourself to win. Yeah, absolutely. Confidence is silence. Insecurities are loud. That's true. That's true, too. I'm getting all these little messages today. And I think Wylan killed Kenny. So, 
here's a, here's something else I want to talk to you about real quick. You know, we got we got a few people in here. I got a I got a question for you bakers out there, you cooks, you people that take food and prepare it and cook it. All right. We understand that microwave dinners is really quick and we pop pies are really quick and hot dogs is really quick. But if you want a four quarter or five quarter meal, if you want a really good meal, if you want a really good meal and you take your time and you get your vegetables and you get your meats and you get your whatevers and you cook, it takes time, right? Am I correct? I mean, there's no meal out there that's really good, a delicious, great meal that's going to be like, I hit the kitchen 13 seconds later or 30 seconds later, I have a meal. I mean, minus the TV dinners, um, which aren't really that great. I'm talking about if you prepare a meal, it takes time, right? And it's really good. A prepared meal is way more tasty and more nutritious than a TV dinner. Correct or wrong, right? So I know I'm right. I'm just trying to get y'all to, um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm pulling y'all into the conversation. So you, you as a person, you're the prepared meal. Okay. Don't microwave your life. Don't settle that 30 second quick fix, whatever the hell bullshit. Prepare yourself. Get up in the morning and do what you need to do to make sure that you can walk out of that door in a good place mentally, spiritually, and physically every day. It's not easy. Nothing worth having is. But don't give up on great things because great things take time and you are a great thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? I mean, this is <coughs> this is stuff that you should be hearing every day, which I, I know I, I don't give the messages out every single day. But um, I do like to give them out every once in a while. But it's so important for people to understand that life is so much more and can be so much more for everyone if you let the universe unfold in front of you. Now, there are people out there that are in specific situations where they cannot help where they are in life. And I get that. But if someone is capable, um, let's I'm just going to say this. I have a job. I have multiple jobs. Um, I work my ass off. I have nice things. I pay my bills. I do everything I need to do. I brush my teeth and I put on deodorant and I don't do drugs. I do everything I need to do to be a successful adult. Okay? If I have a significant other, I would never, at this point in my life, I may have when I was younger, but at this point in my life, I would never get a significant other and make her do all the work so I can just sit back and play. Don't worry, baby. You do everything. My, my, my hot fire mixtape is coming out soon. No, as a man, I, I don't, it, it doesn't matter. She can go do what she wants to do in her life, but I'm going to do what I need to do. And in order for me to feel like I have purpose, then I need to work. I need to do something. I will worry about not working once I retire. Once I retire, then I will have a retirement plan for me to have things to do. Well, I thank you, Joyce. I appreciate it. Good morning, Lori. So we as people, we forget that, you know, they're, 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 I'm going to have a job just for my, because my wife don't have to work. No, she can work if she wants to, or I'm going to do this for that person. Or I'm going to do this. No, starts with yourself. I work because it gives me purpose. I pay my bills because I like having good credit. So if I want something, I can go get it. I, I do everything that I'm supposed to do as an adult because it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing more out of life. And it works. If I want to right now, if I wanted to get off of this live feed right now, go get in my car and drive to California. Guess what I can do? I can go get in my car and drive to California. I can grab my little work computer that I got down here. I can throw it in a car. And as long as I stop at a hotel at night and I do my job, I can go anywhere in the world. I've set my life up to do so. So next year, when I go to the conferences and stuff like that, I continue working. People don't realize that. People don't know. I go to the conference during the day. I go back to my hotel room. That's why I don't go party at night and stuff like that. I go back to my hotel room and I work a full shift with my other job at night. So I'm constantly working. 
And me doing that is something that I do. I do it because it makes me feel good about who I am. And everyone in this world, and it may not be your job, it could be your live streams that you're doing. It could be your, your going to conventions. It could be uh, watching the grandkids. It could be anything. But whatever it is that makes you happy, that you can do to bring happiness into your life, then do it, own it, make it yours, and don't ever for a second think that you're less than amazing. I'm lost to Donna, I've said a lot of things. I don't know what, what the first thing I, I said about a woman. Um, I don't know, what, but I don't remember what I said. <laughs> I was talking, I've said a lot, so I don't know what I said. And there's a lag here, so. Uh, Y'all remember there's like a 15 to 20 second lag from what I'm saying to when I see the comments. So if you just do a broad spectrum of, oh, that was really good. I have no idea what you're talking about because it was like 30 seconds ago. Um, but yes, I respect all women. Um, and I believe that if I have a significant other, it's, it's her job to, to live her life and meet me in the middle. Um, it's not going to be do as I say, do as I do. You've got to work. You don't have to work. It's going to be, what do you want to do? Uh, the woman should not basically be emancipated. That's correct. You shouldn't. A woman should do, you have your life. You have your own brain, your own cardiovascular system, your own nervous system, your own kidneys, your own bladder, your own booty, your own legs, your own arms. At no point at any time does a man own the woman or does the woman own the man. It's your job to be successful with your life. It's your job to get up and smile and put on, make the bed and, and do what you're supposed to do to be a successful adult. It's your job. It would be my job as a significant other to help you with your weaknesses and award you for your for your strengths, all right? And vice versa, the same thing with, with that I expect in return. Um, you know, you may not, I, I hate, I hate, 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 H-A-T-E, hate doing dishes. I hate doing dishes, but I don't mind doing laundry. So my significant other, if she hates doing dishes, we eat off paper plates. But if she'll do the dishes, I'll do the laundry. It's about compromise. It's about working together. For a goal but you can't expect a, a, your significant other or your other person I don't know I keep saying significant other because there are people out there that you know there's boys that like boys and girls that like girls and all that other crazy stuff and that's whatever it's cool whatever so I don't want to stereotypically say the man and the woman the man and the woman so the significant other um, they have their own life they have their own dreams their own goals their own likes their own desires and you should let them live that you should not interfere with that if someone wants to be with you they'll be with you if they don't they will go away and it's it's known the problem with the world nowadays is, is relationships are disposable they really are I mean look at the last one I was in it was it was all about me when she was here when she went away it turned about all about somebody else and of course, she's like, oh no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, she made posts the other day saying that she's not a liar and not a cheat. And I, I so unblocked her and went to look for it so I could post the, uh, the, the, um, the, because I, I screenshotted our message where she, you know, I'm so sorry I did this. I'm so sorry, blah, 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 blah. And I was going to post it but, and be petty, but uh, I couldn't find it. So that was the universe telling me not to be petty, Todd. But anyway, n neither here nor there. When you have somebody who is worthy of love, they're easy to love. When you have someone that doesn't love themselves, you can never love them because it's never good enough. You're never good enough. And it's not your failure. If they don't love themselves and they don't know how to accept love because they don't love themselves, then you can never love them. So it's, it's not your failure, it's theirs. So what I want y'all to do for yourselves is I want you to learn the parts of yourself that you love. You know what I mean? I want you to find, stop, stop looking in the mirror going, oh my God, I hate my nose. Cause I, I do, I hate my nose, but I don't tell myself that because I really like my smile. 
I have an amazing smile. I have great hair. My hair is like, I love my hair. You know what I mean? I, I, find things you love about yourself and stop putting down the things that you don't. Fix them. Fix yourself. Live to be happy. Enjoy life. And by all means, don't try to control the person you're with. Let them live their life. If, they're, if they want to be with you, they'll be with you. If they don't, they will leave. It's that simple. Right, well, actually, it's not that simple anymore in this world because there's a lot of people that want their cake and eat it too. But you don't understand what I'm saying. Baby cakes is the best. Aw. Aw. Uh, Lori Clone, who have you? I mean, <laughs> you probably want Joyster. I'm a horrible boyfriend. I really am. I'm, I'm such a horrible boyfriend. And the reason I say that I'm a horrible boyfriend is because I work between 18 to 20 hours a day. Um, my head is always in business or, or doing something. I'm always going. I sleep about four hours a day. I don't like sleeping in the bed with someone because I'm afraid I'm going to have a night terror and lash out in my sleep. So I stay in my room a lot and hide. I'm a horrible boyfriend. I, I've got my shit together. I know how to treat a woman. I know how to treat a lady. The problem with this is when you get into a relationship, ladies, they need more physical comfort than I can give. Um, I'm horrible at cuddling. If, if I cuddle for three seconds, I'm touching your no-no square. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm a horrible boyfriend. You don't have to love your flaws, but you have to recognize them and understand that they're a part of you and that you're still amazing, even though you have them. See, I look at my scars on my body, and I have tons of scars. I've been, I've had over $140,000 worth of recorrective surgery to my body to reduce, only to reduce scars. I got blown up when I was younger. Ain't blown up, like boom, boom, blown up. Anyway, um, I look at my scars and I think, wow, man, I survived. I made it through that so it's a flaw it's a, it, it they're ugly but at the same retrospect they're amazing because I made it and so did you so what did I tell you yesterday or the other day what did I tell you the other day if you want to see somebody amazing if you want to meet somebody amazing absolutely freaking amazing go stand in front of a mirror because after everything you've been through, all the crap, all the shit, all the lies, the cheating, the stealing, the the bad families or the good families or the crazy stuff, the neighbors, the the popo, because I know everybody's had to run in with a popo at least once. I mean, everything you've been through in life and you're still here and you can still make a pot of coffee. So it's you're amazing. Oh, God, Jessica's here. I don't even want to talk to you, Jessica. I'm still pissed off at you. You jerk. Je For y'all that don't know, Jessica is like my best friend. One of my best friends. I've got Mike and I've got Jessica. They are my two real life local best friends. And Jessica's an asshole. And I can say that because I'm her best friend. She's my best friend. And she's an asshole. She, was, she did an asshole thing the other day. I'm still mad at her. So feel free to beat Jessica up this morning. Everybody, jump on her. Tell her she's a jerk. <laughs> Get her. You have 3,300 people sitting outside your house later, Jessica. I fucking love you, but I hate you right now. I, I love you, but I'm pissed off at you. You're a jerk. I'll get over until we... I'll talk to you. You know what? You just go away. Put your daughter on. I'll talk to your daughter. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> So all of my positive talking that I did this morning will entail everyone except Jessica. Jessica it does not count for Jessica because she's a jerk. So, all right. So back to what I was saying. You did freaking do it to you, punk. All right. So back up and say, yeah, yeah. You want me to tell them what you did? Do you want me to tell them what you did? I'll tell them. Don't you start with me because I will put you on blast, little girl. <laughs> I'll put you on blast on the internet. I will. Okay. Falling down is an accident. Staying down is a choice. That is a fact too. We are all going to backslide. We're all going to do things that we regret. 
and we have issues with and it, it happens it really does right Jessica you jerk we all do things that we regret we all have accidents but you know it's an accident get up move on staying down you drive to my house I will kick you right in your no-no square anyway I will karate chop you right in your no-no square um anyway staying down is a choice okay we, we're, we're allowed to make accidents as, as human beings. We're allowed to have miss-ups and screws-ups. But we apologize, Jessica, and we move on. And we, we get back up, and we start doing better, and we become better people, Jessica. We, <laughs> you can't drive over here. You got work today. Wait, let's stay Saturday? Friday. It's Friday. You got work today, so you ain't driving nowhere, so shut up. So that is my positive input for the day. I'm done with the positive answer. I'm gonna sit here and, and yell at Jessica some more. Good morning, Trixie. How are you? Good morning. I'm so glad you're here. You, did you did, did you did you hear I like did the reverb and everything and told Biggs I was so proud of him. I'm so I'm so happy with Biggs this morning. So good morning. Yeah, Jessica's in trouble, Lori. Jessica is in trouble. He's a jerk. She's she she almost got demoted from best friend status to uh just somebody that I used to know. Yeah, that almost happened because um she she did a she did a bad thing. She's an ass. So yeah. So good morning everybody else that came in here into the room to hear me yell at Jessica. You didn't hear? Oh, I did it. Yeah, I got him to come in the room, and then I gave him a big reverb, and I did the special effects and all that stuff, and hollered, thank you, and or not thank you, but uh, I mean, congratulations and all that good shit. I was reading, and I read thank you on that, so I said it as I read it instead of saying what I meant to say. My brain is screwed up that way. Yes, while and I will, I'm going to, if she drives over here, I'm solely kicking her in her no-no square. That's, that's how bad she screwed up. My best, my real life best friend, if she drives over here, I'm gonna kick her in her no no square. You apologize that you got your feelings hurt. Oh, look, you know what? You better put a condom on your heart because I'm about to screw your feelings, okay? I'm gonna put you on blast on the internet if you don't quit. Oh my god. Anyway. She just about to, she just about to get demoted. Ugh. Now, what were we talking about? We were talking about positive things until she walked in the room and I got I was some you ass clown. Uh Trixie, you got work today. Uh you driving the bus today? What are you doing? What are you doing today? Uh, any most action I got in a while lies lies. You are a liar. Jessica Lee. You're a liar. I remember what you said on the phone there today. You liar. Anyway, now what was I saying? Yes. Kick her right in her no, no square. She's going to keep going. She's going to keep going. She's over there laughing right now. I guarantee you she's over there laughing. And she doesn't realize that I'm about to get in my car, drive over there, punch her in her no-no square, and come back home. I will hand her kid a bag of frozen peas so she can hand them to her after I kick her in her no-no square. Uh, I, oh, oh, so you gonna put it out? I'm gonna tell you what you did. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him. Can I tell him? Can I tell him what you did? Let's get the sentence of the internet. Can I tell him? Can I tell him what you did? Uh, I'm not, I have a mini attached my head 24 seven. All right. Can I tell him what you did? Can I, can I tell him? Can I put it out there? Cause you're a jerk. It'd make me feel better. You want me to feel better, right? You're my best friend. You want me to feel better. So you should let me talk about it over the internet. That's what you should do. <laughs> yeah. If she says yes, y'all are going to, y'all going to, y'all going to be mad at Jessica. I'm just saying. Go for it. Okay. 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 Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's on. <laughs> oh. Okay. So let me tell you something. Okay. Me and Jessica used to date years ago, 
and I, we are best friends. We I've been through like four of her marriages. She's been like through two of mine. Like we've been friends for a while. Okay. And we even tried dating again a little bit later and she, she's a jerk. It didn't work out because she's a jerk, but I still love her. We've been best friends. Well, anyway, I, I got out of a relationship recently and, and she's been really sweet to me since I got out of this relationship, really calling me pumpkin and, and all this other stuff and everything being real sweet to me. And I'm like, Oh, well maybe, I don't know. You know, it's because, you know, I, I love her. She's a sweet girl. I love her. Uh huh. So, Oh yeah, I'm doing it. You, I'm doing it, you big baby. You jerk. I'm doing it. So, so anyway, she's being all sweet to me and all kind. And then she goes, "Hey, do you want to go to the movie with me and my daughter? We'll go to the movie. We'll get something to eat and then go to the movies." And I'm thinking, you know what? Hell yeah. Okay, that'd be cool. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm interested in doing that. Then the next day, she says, she messaged me. She says, "Are you still going?" I said, "Hell yeah, I'm still going." She goes, "Good. I'm bringing a dude with me." What? I'm bringing a dude with me. My own again, off again. Oh, hell no, I ain't going. Oh, hell no, I ain't going. Hey, you gonna be fl sweet? No. Oh, hell no. You you need to go sit your ass down in the corner because you use an ass. See, see, see I, you were sweet because I was going through shit. See, look, see that? She admits that she was being sweet, but you see how it is? She was like, oh, yeah, okay, you all right, pumpkin? Come on, let's go get some. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm interested. I'll go get something. Uh-huh. I'm bringing a dude. And then when I said someone, I was like, oh, hell no. You know what she did to me? You know what she did? I met your girlfriend. Bitch, I didn't ask you to go to the, I didn't ask you to go to dinner in the movies with me and then tell you I'm bringing a woman. Did I? No, hell no, because that's rude. Your cousin came too. I'm glad your cousin came too. That's really nice. All right, so so let, uh, y'all, let's you know, y'all want to go to the movie? Yeah. Hey, pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin. You want to go to the movies and, and dinner? Do you? Okay. I'm gonna bring my cousin and a dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Number one, I'm I'm done with your sweetness. I'm done with it. You see, look, look, look. They see they they agree with me. It wasn't nice. See, kick you in your no no square. See, yep, no no square kicked. See, look. Girly, look, you're getting slammed on. See, see, they agree with me. It was screwed. Four of you went. I know, four of you. That's great. That's that's amazing because when you asked me, it was, do you want to go out? And have dinner and go to the movie with me and my daughter it would be a lot of fun and now I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna back the story up a little bit too I'm gonna back the story up just a little bit just a little bit too I also she was some she, her daughter needed to go get her stuff from Florida okay I had to go get her stuff from Florida and one of her friends was like well I do it but you're gonna pay me two hundred dollars but I'm like what the fuck kind of friend is that so I got in my car after working all night long by the way I got in my car and I went and picked up her kid and I went to Florida and picked up her stuff and drove back. I was gone all day long. So I didn't sleep all night, all day, all night, all day. Then I worked again. I, I went all the way down to Florida, picked up her kid's stuff, come all the way back. She's being so sweet to me. I'm like, you know what? She's being sweet. Why not? That's awesome. You know what? It, it, it might, it might, I don't know. Uh, see, I don't give a fuck. They don't know what all happened. That's what happened. That's what happened on this end. I don't, I don't give a shit what happened on that end because... It was irritating. You irritated me. I'm still your best friend, but I'm going to give you shit for a while. You are going to catch the shit train from me for a while. And you better never be sweet to me again. Ever. 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 You be nice, but you don't be sweet. Never again. Right in the no-no square. At least worth the PJ and reach around. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness gracious! See, look, we got 13 people in. I start, I, look, I start jumping on your ass, and look, people came in the room to listen. They're like, "Uh oh, Todd's going off on somebody." Well, we got to get in here and listen to that. Uh oh, uh oh. 
See, so like I said, I love her. She's my best friend, but she's so close to getting demoted. I know it wasn't intentional, which is why we laughing about it. And I ain't like, all right, so y'all need to understand something. And Jessica will attest to this 100%, like 100,000%. She will attest to this. When I am mad at somebody, I don't speak to them. I do not speak to them at all until I'm down, until I've calmed down. So like, if I was really still mad about this, I would have ignored the fact she walked in this room. She, I ignored the fact she was here or I'd have kicked her out the room. You can ask her, she'll tell you. I didn't used to be Alana. I didn't used to be a good guy. I'm still working on it every single day. I am super excited. My shirts are at Spencer's too, Patricia. Thank you so much for that. I really am. They're coming out October 24th. I will be doing a live. Uh, I will be going live at the, I, so far, it'll be the one in Biloxi, Mississippi, in uh, Metairie, Louisiana, right outside of New Orleans, Louisiana, and in somewhere in Florida. Um, I think of the three, or Alabama, maybe Mobile, maybe Mobile are the three Spencers that I'll be going to and doing live feeds and, uh, and promotions. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about that too. Uh, so thank you so much. <clears throat> we never talk about it, Jessica. We never talk about it. Uh, video of her doing a hundred pushups from his apology. She couldn't do 10 pushups. That girl's so damn weak. <laughs> you try, you put her on the ground to try to do one pushup. She's staying on the floor. <laughs> I'm not sure, uh, uh, Lori, I'm not sure where at yet. I'm still waiting on the, uh, the corporate from Spencer's to let me know which ones I want to go to. Yeah, see, I told you, Jess, don't do push-ups. Je if, Je if Jess falls on the floor and somebody don't pick Jess up, she ain't getting up. And she weighs like 80 pounds. Like, it wouldn't, like, the wind could pick her back up if it blew right. She's so tiny. Yeah, yeah, well, you, you <laughs> them, so she got, she got fake tits, by the way, so that's why she said she'd pop a tit. No, you wouldn't need bounce. You could use them like damn bouncy trampolines or something. Yep, 24th at Spencer's. Absolutely can't wait. It's going to be awesome, um, which means that everything that's pre-ordered should be out soon. Like, everybody should be starting to get their pre-ordered shirts pretty soon, too. Um, they should go in production. with If they're not already in production, they should go in production within the next few days. So, uh, Courtney, awesome. Thank you for the picture, my new fans. Freaking love this song. So, uh, as I said before, with the with the TikToks, uh, I had two videos that went really crazy. I got over a thousand views in just a few minutes um, uh, on two of the videos. So I got like over two thousand views just on two videos. And I, I'm going to check it now and see what it's at because I was like, "What the poop?" It was amazing. Um, I thought that was really cool. And I know that the more the more uh, content I put out, the more views I'll get. You know, that's how it works. But uh, I was really st stoked about that, and um, apparently my uh, apparently my Instagram is blowing. What in the hell? That was me. <laughs> apparently, I got to refresh. Not refreshing for some reason. I dare to know why it's not refreshing, so let me try this again. Uh, 24th Spencer's, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Am I still alive? Are we still alive? Alright, 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 alright. Stop at you. No, hush. There we go. Yeah, so one's got 1,275 views and the other's got 1,087 views in like just a little while. That is really awesome. I'm really honored and, and really happy about that. I really appreciate everybody that went and looked at the TikTok videos and liked them and stuff. That is really awesome, you guys. I really appreciate it. 
you know, almost 200 views on each video. That's really awesome, dude. That's really cool. All right, ask me to send it here. Sorry, I'm answering messages now too. Yeah, that's really cool, man. I'm really, really happy with with everybody that's gone and liked the uh, the Instagram page and the TikTok page and and interacted with everything and liked everything, man. That's really awesome, and I really appreciate everything y'all do for me. Uh, the more interaction I can get, and the more out there I can get, the better. Um, the the better I can, you know, promote these shirts and the cult of fools and really really work this out i mean i really want to work this because i really stand behind what big chris does and uh his artwork he's an amazing amazing artist and him and his wife are amazing people i mean if i mean i've spent time with them i, I hung out with him a little bit in arizona and then we've talked a few times on the phone and worked everything out on the internet and everything so but i'm telling you they're really good people and if they weren't i wouldn't be pushing as hard as i am uh, for the cult of fools and for everything else that, you know that they do they're just really good people so anyway you guys can support that i really appreciate it you know what i mean uh you haven't seen me yet oh to joyster oh the joyster's name is um joyster <laughs> i've got it. i follow him on tiktok but i don't remember what his name is anyway so that's what's going on I'm just so honored to have each and every one of y'all in my life really except for Jessica who needs to get punched in the nose square right now but she'll be okay um her her torment is the fact that she has to work with me so she'll get hers so anyway yeah so monster underscore Abaddon on TikTok Twitter and Instagram and then official Abaddon Apollyon on Facebook and Abaddon Apollyon on Mixer um, and for everybody that likes and follows me, I really appreciate it. Now, as I promised the other, uh, for the last few couple months now, this year coming up in January, we're going to start a, we're going to start a contest that's a top supporter for Abaddon Apollyon, uh, for a certain amount of time, whatever we do the contest for, it could be, you know, a month, two months, three months, whatever, I don't know, maybe six months. I don't know how long we're going to do the contest for, but whatever the contest rules are and the contest length is. The top supporter will get a paid vacation, weekend vacation to New Orleans to hang out with me. That'll be airfare and hotel for Friday and Saturday night at a nice hotel in New Orleans where we can go and hang out uh, downtown and have some fun. Uh, so that will be a contest we're doing next year. And then I'll, I'm going to let, let y'all out because I've told you there was a second contest, but I couldn't tell anybody what it was. Uh, because we hadn't really nailed down the legalities of it, so on and so forth. But we've kind of narrowed it down now. So the second contest we're going to be doing next year is we are going to, uh, once again, top supporter, will get a paid vacation to a, to a convention with us. Whatever convention we're going to, it might be Mad Monster. I don't know what it's going to be. But whatever convention it is, they'll get airfare and hotel room to come to a convention for three days with Abaddon Apollyon. So... <clears throat> that's the two contests we're going to be doing next year we'll probably run i think they're going to run three months uh three months to six months i'm not sure probably three months top supporter for three months gets it next top supporter for three months gets it and then that'll take us into june and we can figure out what's going to happen after that so i know mad monster is in june so we might work that out where we do three months and three months we're still working out the specifics but the top supporter, to be a top supporter, you have to be a Patreon subscriber, of course, uh, the first thing. And you have to be active in the feeds. Um, uh, my schedule, As my schedule gets tighter and I'm able to, to, to do more, we're going to start doing an evening feed as well. So we'll do a morning feed and an evening feed. So people will have more of a chance of being able to get into the feeds to, uh, to be a part of the contest. Because, you know, you don't want to... There's a lot of people that can't get up at 7 o'clock in the morning to watch a live feed. So in order for them to qualify for the contest that's going to be going on, we're going to have to have an evening feed as well so they can be part of that. So Patreon member and then be in the feeds. Uh, what's going on in here? We we're talking about the contests that are going to be going on for next year. So next year we're going to be doing two contests, top supporter, both contests, top supporter. So let's just say that the first contest, we're, I think we're going to do three-month intervals. 
So three months, the top supporter will get a free vacation, weekend vacation. That's hotel, air, airplane and hotel for Friday and Saturday night into New Orleans. I'll pick you up from the airport. We'll take you to the hotel, check you in the hotel. Friday night, Saturday night, leave out Sunday, paid vacation. Uh, the only thing you'd have to do is cover your food and drinks. Um, so they're going to do that. And then the next contest that we'll be doing after that will be that we are going to pay vacation to somebody to a, to a convention whatever convention we're going to um, it is probably going to be Mad Monster I'm not sure we're working that out now but they would get airfare and hotel for a convention top supporter uh, two contests going to be lots of fun we're nailing down the um, the time frames for the for the schedule uh, more solid so right now it's going to be 7 a.m. daily around 7 a.m. because you understand I'm, I'm either early or I'm late. I'm never right at 7 a.m. for some reason, but around 7 a.m. daily. And then we'll do one in the afternoons starting soon. We'll pick a time and we'll be doing two live feeds a day. And we're going to keep that going throughout the contest. So we've got to establish it first. Uh, Patreon sharing it out getting people in the room buying merch like i mean all these things are, are how you support a support a uh, a person <clears throat> so and it's all verifiable through the insights of the page so i can look and see who's doing what and how how much they're doing you know um so it's kind of cool and it's, it'll be i think it would be a lot of fun and help push and promote now i've been promoting the shit out of cult of, cult of fools and you guys have been to and other people have been to. And uh, I'm, I'm going to ask y'all to continue doing that. But also promote my page as well. Um, I'm sitting at about 3.4K right now. And I'd like to really get to 5K before the end of the year. So I can push out even more um, and get more involved with what we do and what we stand for in the community. And about the positive messages. We'd also like to... Um, I'm trying to work on a schedule right now for, for conferences... And if you guys would be interested in meeting up at the conferences and around the United States, wherever, you know, I need to let, you know, let me know where y'all are at and so on and so forth. Uh, and I'll try to see if I can find something in your area. If you have a conference in your area that is an amazing conference and I don't know about it, I won't be able to make it if I don't know about it. So you need to let me know what's going on in your areas for next year. That's right, Adana, you do. You get up at four to watch me. Adana is an amazing person. So is Debbie. Debbie jumps up too. Well, all of you, really. I mean, all of you. Every every one of you pops in every morning and and sits with me, hangs out with me, which is really really appreciated. I mean, I can't just I can't say how much that y'all mean. Uh, my Patreon is on the website. If you go to abadonapolion.com, there's a link to the Patreon, uh, and you can click on it. It'll take you straight to the Patreon page. Uh, the lowest one is five dollars, um, but I mean, well, you could you could set it to one dollar if you wanted to. But the I have it set five, ten, or five, ten, twenty, fifty, something like that. Uh, you can choose what you want, and you can set it up reoccurring or not. And everything you do is really appreciated. You can also give. Uh, we also take donations. Uh, donations go straight. To, so the the Patreon goes towards the con conferences and merchandise. And the donations go straight to buying the gear we need um, for the travel shows and so on and so forth. Right now, we're working on trying to get a live stream backpack, kind of like what Relic has. The problem is they're like 5000 The lowest end, the low end, is $5,000 for one of these backpacks. Um, the one that he carries around is ten grand. i am like, holy crap. So anyway... So all the donations that we get are going towards working on getting that backpack so we can live stream from the conferences, walking around and everything and, and doing some pretty good live streams. Once we get that all set up too, we're also going to be hooking up with different um, paranormal investigation companies and so on and so forth and doing live streams with them. So we've got a lot of, lot of motion. We've got a lot of motion this year. Oh, well, that's awesome, Trixie. I appreciate it. I, I, you know, I get just as much out of this as everybody else does. Um, I, I have to tell myself every day these things that I talk about with y'all. So, I mean, I need to hear them just as much as everyone else. Uh, Texas Frightmare Weekend in Dallas, large in the South. It, it um, oh, you know, the creator personally. Well, get me booked, <laughs> Josette. Get me booked. But uh, I, I do intend on going to Texas Frightmare. I wanted to go last year, and I wasn't able to make it. 
but I really do uh, want to go uh, in 2020. So yeah, if you can get me booked, that'd be awesome. If not, I'm going to be buying VIP tickets and, and doing that. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Plus, I think Relic is going again next year. And if he does, I'd like to meet him and meet a couple other people. So that's really cool. Do a show with Zach Baggins? Baggins? Um, yeah, I mean, every, anything is possible. Um, as we grow and as we get, you know, as more people uh, know about Abaddon Apollyon and, and uh, we get, you know, more followers and stuff like that, the more we can do with more people. So, and it all goes down to what you guys do for me by pushing me out, sharing me out, getting people to like my page, mass sharing to my page. If, if y'all don't know how to mass share, you go to the page, go down to invite friends, and then select all, and then send. It's uh, pretty easy to do, and it's a real good way to jump up a person that you uh, enjoy watching's um, uh, follower base. So that's really awesome. Debbie, you got to go. Well, have much love and have an amazing day. I'm going to be getting off here in a second, too, because I'm going to be going to bed because I worked all night last night. But yeah, we thank everything that y'all do. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the contest next year just to see who wins um, and who's going to come hang out with us in New Orleans. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, you do not have to be a... Uh, but they resell. I got VIP in three rooms. Oh, that's cool. Um, you don't have to be a millionaire to make top fan. Okay. Don't think that you do, uh, a person that's uh, all the only qualification with the Patreon is that you are a Patreon subscriber and it could be $5 a month. Um, this is a subscription fee, which is amazing for y'all to do that. Um, everything else is just, you know, sharing it out, coming in, talking, or, you know, talking with other people and being interactive. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do to support a character that has nothing to do with, uh, the cash flow. Uh, just done it for you many times. Yes, I have, I've mass shared out for you every, every once in a while. Every time I get new people, I wait about two or three days. Cause I get probably about 30 to 40 friend requests a day and I'll wait two or three days. And then I mass share out to the other people that I, um, enjoy so it's a really good way to help grow up the fan base and to get people to see it because there's a lot of people that don't even know this exists i've been in this business for years and did not know the online side even existed even though i was on facebook every single day because i never ran across it until one day one person shared it and i was like oh my gosh this is like right up my alley this is exactly what i'm doing you know so you never know, one of your friends might really, really enjoy this. You never know. I have fans as young as, I think uh, the youngest fan I have who likes watching is the one that I've got pictures of when it, from CreepyCon and I think she is three. She's three years old and she loves hanging out and, and watching and talking. Um, and then I've got, uh, I think I've got the oldest one I have is like 86, 86 or 87. I think they just had a birthday. Oh, no problem, Mariana. No problem. You don't have to, you don't have to be running your mouth all the time because <laughs> we love and respect you and we know that people get busy. So yeah, so that's what's going on. That's what happened. That's what's happening. We got the shirt coming out in Spencer's gift, October 24th. We will be doing some live feeds we're going to be uh live appearances in face at uh biloxi mississippi i think metairie louisiana i think i think it's metairie because there's no spencer's gift in new orleans it's right outside of new orleans um at the mall so but i can't think about it i think it's in metairie but i don't remember <clears throat> and then that it's either mobile alabama or florida i can't remember which of the other one but there's gonna be three appearances uh i think 24th 25th and 26th and then it'll go from there throughout the rest of the through throughout the rest of the um halloween october and by the end of october i should have more abaddon merch out coming out 
Um, I worked on the uh, Cult of Fools uh, icon uh, logo yesterday, and I'm making them customizable for the different people that are a part of Cult of Fools. And then next year, we're going to be pushing all year long. We're going to be pushing all year long uh, from January 1st all the way to Halloween. I'm going to be pushing for Cult of Fools next year and doing some amazing stuff with those guys. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And each and every one of you can be a part of that. All you have to do is just, like I said, hit the Patreon, come in, be the subscriber, or be the uh, top supporter, and you get a va- you you'll get a, you have a chance at two vacations next year. Two, you can win two vacations next year, two weekend vacations. Yeah, Spirit Spencer's actually owns Spirit of Halloween, so that's they're working on that stuff right now. It's about releasing shirts in both places. That's right. That's right, Roy. You do share me out every day, and that is true. Roy's here every morning, and we appreciate you, Roy, 100%. You're an amazing person. Am I going to be on Mixer later today? Yes, I am. Um, I broadcasted for a while. As a matter of fact, I on Mixer at night, I go on, and I normally, while I'm working, and I normally will talk and everything last, but every once in a while, I'll do just a straight audio feed where I'm playing... Um, it's copyright free music uh, that I that I broadcast is like I am right now, and I broadcast uh, like all night long sometimes. And uh, so if you pop in there and and I'm live, but I'm not talking. It's because I'm working and I can't even see the screen because I'm I'm working, but I'm still there. And you can earn sparks and you can spend sparks. And I I see that the top top spark leader this week so far is uh, Ariana with. On Rampart Meow, so Adriana is the top one right now, and uh, we will be going live tonight. So, and you can go now. My, my it's uh, mixer.com forward slash Abaddon Apollyon, and it is playing Monster Cat Radio right now, and it's always up. My room is always up, and uh, but I'm not in it. So you can go in there now, and you can listen to music all day long. Doesn't cost anything. And uh, if you do live feeds and you want copywritten music or copywritten free music for your live feeds, there you go. Mixer.com forward slash Abaddon Apollyon. It is always playing that music unless Monster Cat goes down. And if they go down, then I usually go live. I'll go live, super, you know, real live. And then I'll play the music that I'm playing right now. So I always have music up going. Your mixer is down. Yeah, Mixer's been, Mixer's had some uh, issues on and off, but for the most part, they are always up. So, for the most part. So, like I said, if you're if you're an entertainer and you want copywritten free music, it's always up. Um, and you can screen grab, if you use OBS, you can screen grab the screen and it will, and then put it up. Like what you see on my screen right now is a screen grab of the music player that I'm, I'm currently using, which is my pretzel radio copywritten free music. And it goes up, as you can see, it goes on the uh, screen and it says what song is playing, who is it by, how long it is, so on and so forth. So you can give credit to the artists, even though it's copywritten free, you still give credit to the artists for the amazing music that they have. Does that, that's really cool. I appreciate that. Um, I will be, I've got, two faces left right now i've got to order more and i've got to order some more horns i will probably uh pay goes out today so it'll probably be a couple days and then i'll order some new faces and whatnot so it's probably gonna be about three or four days before i'm in face again but i dag i'm sure will be in face on the 24th 25th and 26th because i have to be because i'm going to be doing live feeds from malls uh so that's going to be that's going to be that but i'll probably be in face here on uh either facebook or uh, Facebook, Instagram, or Mixer. Um, I never really go live on Twitter, but face, Facebook, Instagram, and Mixer. Uh, I'll be going live in the next couple days because I got make more TikTok videos too. Um, please share out my TikTok. Please share out my videos. Please, I, I need to get to 2,000 followers on Mixer. I need to get to whatever it is on TikTok in order to do live videos. So, like, I have things I have to do. Yeah, I'm all lives. So I'm be going to Spencer's Gifts. On October 24th, I'll be going to Spencer Gifts for the un, for the release of my shirts. I'll be doing live feeds from, I know, three different locations right now, maybe more. It's 
y'all get to see me going around a mall harassing people. Let me go. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'll be going around the mall harassing people. Uh, so I'm probably going to have a crew with me, of course, um, while I'm there because, you know, I have to have people. Uh, I've got a security guy. I've got a camera guy. I got all of you know, blah, blah, blah. So, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, yeah. Tutorial, you need a tutorial? All right, just get with me. Uh, Joyce Drell, I'll walk you through the process of OBS. It's no problem. All right, well, it's been a long day. I worked my ass off all night last night. I want you to remember one thing. A day without laughter is a day wasted. Please remain positive, you know, today. And uh, <clears throat> think positive, be positive. You guys are worth so much more to this world than you realize. And without each and every one of you here, um, this place would be a sad, it would be a sadder place. So we need every one of you and you're all amazing. And I appreciate everything you do for AbaddonApollyon.com, Abaddonapollyon LLC, Abaddonapollyon me, and uh, everything we do. So without, without you guys, I couldn't do what I do. And so I really, really, really appreciate it. You're my bodyguard, don't hire anyone. Okay, okay. Uh, I already have a staff, but you're more than welcome to put on a suit. Uh, black suit required, sir. Yep, yep. But yeah, absolutely. You can you can come on down and you're more than welcome. I'm gonna be putting a troop together. I'm going to be putting a group of people together to go do conferences next year. Um, I really, really, really want to get with some people and make a little troop, a little fun thing to go and hang out at conferences and torment people together and uh, spread the word of Abaddon Apollyon and uh, you know, whoever's with me. So let's just say, let's say Trixie and Kool-Aid. Let's say that you guys join up and, and hit some cons with me. Then it's to, then it's to push, you know, Trixie, uh, Kool-Aid, myself, Cult of Fools, X, blah, 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 X's and O's. Follow what I'm saying? Support, support, support. Yeah, because I mean, we have to really get the word out to a lot of people in order to make a difference in this world. Well, we can do it. I've got faith in you. I really do. All right. So with all that being said, love, piss, and chicken grease. I love you all. And uh, I'm out like the fat kid in dodgeball. i got to get some sleep. I'm exhausted. You can hear it in my voice. I am tired. But I love you all. Thank you. And we'll talk to you later. Oh, gosh. Homer, sorry you just popped in the room. I'm just logging off. So you might have to go back and watch the live feed um, uh, from the beginning because it, it was a pretty good one. We had fun. It was a lot of fun today. I got If you go back and listen to it, I got to yell at my best friend over the internet. <laughs> Lots of fun. I got to bust her out and yell at her. <laughs> anyway, all right, yeah, I'm out like the fat kid in dodgeball. Love, peace, and chicken grease. <laughs>